All right, guys. So hello, good evening, happy Thursday, Team Zoom tonight. Uh, we're gonna be it's gonna be a quick Zoom. We have, uh, there we go. I can hear now. Uh, we have a we have another Zoom after this, but uh, a few things I wanted to go over in reference to just reminders. Some sometimes we just need those begin reminders, and one of those things is definitely making sure your auto ship has ran already. Because if you want to have your team doing the same thing that you're doing, you got to lead by example. And by leading by example, that means following the, the, the coachableness of what we have been coached as a company. Um, it's, it, it's first off been something we've been preaching for over a year plus. But then corporate also jumped on it and, and saying the same thing. So everyone start working yourself around auto ship being processed at the beginning of the month because when you have those newbies that's going to come in that you're going to be bringing in you want to already have this habit in place so that they're on the same track my newbie came in literally she's been in three weeks she ran her auto ship five days after she joined because she joined the end of the month and she ran her auto ship already for the beginning of this month she had did it already i didn't even see it done she's like oh it ran yesterday i was like yeah, girl, I use karma. Mm -hmm. So listen, I mean, oh, I said it right. I think I did karma, whatever. Anyway, it ain't coming out again as clear as it did that time. But anyway, so you leading by example gets you in the habit of leading your team by example, which will get them in the habit of knowing exactly what their people should do. This, this leaves less work for you to have to do later and fix. That's like you having a child and you teach your child bad behaviors first and then try, try to correct it and then be mad that the child ain't learning the correct way because you done messed it up. And Lord knows I done done it a lot. So I know it. I understand that. And that's the same thing with your business. The way you're doing it is the way that you would like your team to do it too. Same thing we're doing with loyal customers. All new loyal customers that auto ships that when they, when they enroll, from the 21st on are now going to be like, for example, if they enroll on the 25th, right? Next month's auto ship is going to be somewhere around the 21st. I don't know the exact date yet because they didn't put that exact specific info out yet, but you'll see it once we start getting to the end of the month. What they're doing, like I said last time, is trying to push everyone back so it's not so much bulked up at the end of the month. Same thing with your auto ships. I know some of y'all may have noticed when you process the order at the end of the month for some reason it don't ship as fast as it does when you process the order earlier in the month or the 15th and that's because of that because it'd be so much at one time so what i challenge you to do is speak to all your current loyal customers right now that have auto ships set to run for the rest of this month and speak to them now and see hey how's things going you know check in with them in reference to their order for this month to see what they want and then just ask them what day would you like it to process this month because we can do it earlier than that. That way you have it on time and you don't, you know, have a lapse. That could be a way of saying it. Or it can be because they may get paid on, you know, the 20th, but they're running it on the 25th because that's the date that you set out for from last month. They don't know that they can run it earlier, you know? So we may be assuming that people think that when in all actuality, that little small piece of communication can make them do it earlier. I've had a ton of them do theirs, do theirs earlier this month that I'm like, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Let's do it. I don't care. Let's do it earlier. And that's helping out. And so speaking to them definitely helps because now that communication is in place. And now they understand that they can run it earlier. And now they know it's flexible like that. Um, something else I wanted to go over in reference to I asked some of you guys about is um, making sure your social media is public. The reason I asked that is because if you're posting things and you're looking for it to, the reason you're doing reels to begin with is because you want it to go viral. That's the ultimate goal of a reel. The ultimate goal of a reel is for it to go viral, for everyone to be able to see it, for them to contact you in reference to it. If your page is closed. I'm not sure who you're expecting that reel to get to because they can't get nowhere if your page is closed. If you post that reel and that reel is for friends only instead of public, it ain't getting nowhere. It's just going to be sitting there with the same couple of people. So open up your social media. It cannot be closed. 
if your if your social media is closed, your business is closed, your mind is closed. That means that you're no longer looking to expand your mind, yourself, your business, nothing, because your 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 social media is not open. Everything should be on public, everything. And then from there, you have to start posting content that's not only just content about your products, but also content where people want to come to you for. We've said this before, people come to you for education, for inspiration and for funny. The products is what you're throwing in in between, but you gotta give them a reason to stay, not just because you're posting about products all day. You gotta give them a reason to stay around. It can be based off the inspiration. It can be based off them seeing just you in general. They may just love your face. So that means you gotta do more selfies. You can figure all that out from, the, from analyzing your analytics on your page. You can look at your analytics and see what you get the most views from to understand what people wanna see more of. And then another thing I have you guys do every day is small tasks that build towards more people seeing what you put out. For example, lately I've been doing a ton of interaction the way I've switched things up, where I send everyone happy birthday messages through the inbox, where now I'm inboxing, I'm, um, I'm asking people to host a post based off the mutual friends we have. I'm interacting with those mutual friends as well, no matter how many it is. I'm friend requesting from those happy birthday people that have happy birthdays on their wall. That's growing my network a lot faster on top of the people doing the host of post for me, on top of the people that are um, that I'm saying happy birthday to. And now my Facebook page has opened up for even more people to see it, where now my numbers have jumped a ton more and people are now interested in ordering and interested in the products that from before probably never seen my post because we've never interacted. I had one girl that ordered coffee from me because Something told me when I scrolled her page and just hit the love button, she's a, she's a loyal customer of mine, but hasn't ordered in over a year. I kept asking her about ordering again, ordering again. No, no, I don't have, not right now. And something said, comment. All she said was good morning with a picture. And I commented and said, hey, good morning, girl. I don't know what made me do it, but something said do it and I did it. She replied back and said, hey, girl, I really need to get some more coffee. I ain't do nothing but comment. People look at that small stuff as a difference maker for them to be interested. And so that's what interaction does. Interaction is not, and, and please, you gotta interact with people outside of it. That's why I say interact with mutual people that's, um, that's birthdays. Because you gotta interact with people outside of your regular people you talk to every day, outside of your family. That family ain't ordering. If they ain't ordered by now, they ain't ordering. Let them just watch and keep it moving or let them be your host to post. For example, today I have, I had all my family from my mama's side that I can't stand. I had all of them do host to post for me. I messaged all of them to do host to post for me. Only one of them replied back and did it and put it on both of her social medias. And that's because she always needed me for something. So she knew she had to do it. And the other ones is blocked. So, but she, one person did it out of all of them. So that's what they're going to do. If them family going to be on your page, they can host the post if they're not going to buy. You can utilize them for something to help you out if they're not going to order. But don't let your family be the only thing that's on your thread because that's all you're talking to. So you got to look at your analytics. If it's not growing, then that means you're not doing the task. You got a friend request at least 30 people a day to keep adding to your network. And as you keep doing it, you're going to notice that because you're friend requesting people, you're gonna see the mutuals between these people go up and up and up and up. And now my mutuals from everybody that I'm, that I'm saying happy birthday to is between five to, oh, if I went to school with you, forget it, it's over a hundred. So continue to keep growing your network every day because the more you do, the more people you're reaching. And on top of that, it makes your content even better. And then like I was saying in reference to the content, it can't just be products all day. I, if I tell you to put a reel up, your reel can't just be something you threw together and put up. Like I can tell that was just BS. Like it ain't makes no sense to do that, bro. You could have kept that to yourself. That was ridiculous. It makes zero sense. It wasn't even cute. Like, why did you do that? You ain't do nothing but, but short yourself. So if you're not gonna put if you're not gonna put up stuff to actually 
be meaningful or actually something you meant, then it don't make no sense. I know y'all can tell from my page, I'm excited. Like the way, the way I'm getting results right now, y'all can tell I'm excited. My whole audience can tell I'm excited. And that's why they keep ordering and stuff. They can tell I'm excited. And like I said, it's only that TFX is doing it. I'm sorry. The way that TFX got me feeling is ridiculously great. And because it is, I'm going to continue to keep going on camera and I'm going to keep getting more and more results from doing so. But on top of that, and, and it's not, it's not hard. I'm telling you that first go around of just do, use, utilizing a product and putting your results out there is going to be the difference maker. And then on that same topic, we had a, a leadership Zoom where we have to continue to take more before and after pictures so that we can have more and more results to put out there because we can no longer put out results for pictures that are not corporate approved, literally. It cannot be the banner of the before and after before they approve it, it can't be that. It can't be that little cutoff one because you don't want the it works sign to show. It can't be your before and afters because it's yours and you didn't put no product on it. None of that. It has to be the official it works before and after picture. If not, it hurts the company, but it's also now hurting you. Because they informed us that it's not only going to be against the company, they coming for you too for a fine. So if you think that you're too, you're bigger than the company, you're not. We're all together with this. Same thing goes with the IDS statement. We had a new one come out this year. 2021 has came out. If y'all look at that 2021 and compare it against that 2019, the distributor number itself, just that first line difference is like, it used to be like 200, now it says 2,000. Like distributors are earning 2,000 a year instead of that $200 that used to be there. So, and, and, and that's all from what 4-in-1 has done. 4-in-1 has completely changed everyone's game towards being an equal playing field to be able to earn income. Hey, Chris, so, let's back up a second. Sure. We need to tell them the severity of, uh, if you're, um, the before and after is not okay. If you're making income claims or whatever, we can do that on private Zooms or in person to person, but you can't do it on social media. You want to know what the fine is that comes directly to, to you? $45,000. If you get it done twice, that's $90,000. That's not just it works. That's the entire industry, period. Uh, yeah. The FTC, they, they would love to see us all go out of business. We're too smart for that. We're going to build relationships. We're going to do it right like Chris and I did in the old days. I'm finding I'm building more relationships uh, outside of social media than I am on it. Not saying I'm going to quit it because I, we do well. Customers are like crazy coming through social media. But I, I want to build the relationships because this is what happened. And Ronnie was with me on Wednesday when I got some customers at our health club. and known the girls. And in fact, one of them is my net, well, down the street neighbor. She's already brought me two customers today because I just took the time with her. And, and from that, three reps today. All because it did exactly what Carissa's doing. So we don't want to get ourselves uh, to where we're just trying to create a hustle. And we got some of these mass enrollers, whatever it takes, you're going to do it. And uh, you don't want to do that. If you want to be here in 20 years and you want to be in the seven-figure club, build the relationships, do the work, do it right, build it tight, build it right. Let's do it right the first time. And what did we say the other night, Carissa? It's your own personal story, whether it's a pound or half a pound, or you took some wrinkles out. That story, it, it counts. If it's just some extra energy like TFX, if that don't put your hair on end and run chills up your neck, well, you wouldn't take it. If you take it twice a day, I promise you, you're going to eat about half of what you normally did, and even if you can get half of it in. That's a fact. And so we, we want to be sure that we're around here as a company because when they come and get you, they go and get the company and then you're going to get on probation. They're going to cut your income off for the next 90 days is, uh, uh, is what they said. And so none of us want that. So if we do it right the first time, we don't have a problem. And the only people that's going to upset the people that want to jump ahead and not do it right the first time. So if you work for a major corporation, they said, this is how we do it. This is what we do. This is the reason we do it. If you get outside of, uh, of the rules of your job, what happens? Well, there's a probationary period. Are you going to get in trouble? you get reprimanded. And then you might get fired. So we're going to go out and we're going to do this right one time. We've been here too long. And you know what? Every one of us needs to create a brand new before and after. Do you agree, Carissa? 
That's right. And they're teaching it where they're approving so many more so easily. Like, like very easily now. It's 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 now where you, you start getting the science down easier to understand what's approvable and what's not. You know, like I had one that I had sent in and Monique was like, nah, the distance is off. Your up your your after need to be closer. I'm like, oh shoot, yeah. And then I submitted another one. <laughs> and when I submitted that one, they declined the one she said, but they approved the other one. So because I sent them out the show, I was able to have that feedback for her to see that. And then I instantly put the other one up for it to get approved. And that's the one they approved. So you just, I mean, and all I'm doing is utilizing a ring light and all my backgrounds ain't even plain, but the fact that the pictures are very clear and crisp and I ain't got, you know, a toilet seat behind me or a dirty mirror sitting over on the side or a bunch of junk sitting up there or clothes hanging all over the place or, you know, stuff all over the floor because it's a clear background, your pictures can still get approved. So just utilize the ring lights. We got, we're, all of us got them things from conference. Use them things. It's a pickle, pickle. I, listen, there's, these walls is filled with stuff. I had to realize my wall, I had used the um, my other wall that got, because all my walls got these boards on them. So I realized when I took the before pictures in January, before we started the, the, the reset, all that stuff was behind me on the wall. All, them, all, them, um, all that writing I had wrote on the board. And I'm like, <laughs> I didn't even know it was back there. So them pictures is go. It, I was like, that's why I gotta start over. Them pictures wasn't even worth it. So yeah, because y'all ain't want to see all my all my um stuff that all my goals and stuff was all written all over the red board. The whole red wall was written stuff. So I was like, but anyway, besides that, small goals also makes a difference. I've signed loyal customers off just putting a post up saying, "Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! I lost three pounds in the last two days." Small stuff like that. It was just a post. It wasn't even no results. It wasn't no picture. It wasn't nothing but just a color background that I put up and said that. And that small stuff make a difference too. So you ain't got to overthink it. All you got to do is try stuff and see what sticks. If it don't stick, delete it. That's that's basically what I do. If I, if I put a post up and it don't get no likes within 10 minutes, I'm deleting it. That's just me. That's what I do. I'm sorry. I was pissed. I did it twice in a row and that picture still ain't in the likes and I, I deleted it. And I realized what it was. People don't like the, um, they don't like the, the, the IDS with the, the way I had it. It was basically from getting a um, commission and they didn't like it. I'm like, all right. So I took it down two times. So the, I got another, another fast start bonus this week. I ain't put it up yet. I forgot, but I'll put it in my stories. So that's where I've been putting it instead. Because Facebook don't don't like my picture. It's cool. No worries. But um, so understand small discount. I mean, small, small posts work, small goals work. The way that you want, the way that you get a small goal when you're excited about it, you can utilize the same thing by just putting it out. It's not gonna hurt you putting that out. But also make sure that if if you don't have a lot of friends, that you're also adding to your network, that you're doing those small tasks. Some small tasks is adding up. I'm telling you. I'm, I got to go back to Monique again. She was showing me how many people was interested in her coffee from a year ago, from her telling them happy birthday and they read in the year before happy birthday that talked about coffee. And now they coming back on to my coffee again because they, they didn't realize it was the year before that, that she mentioned it. And so they just read the up above post and then decided to comment. I'm like, it'd be that simple. So all you have to do, only difference is you're being meaningful and actually going in their inbox to say happy birthday compared to just going on their wall saying it. I mean, if it come, if it come across my wall, I'm gonna also love the, the picture and say happy birthday there too, but I'm definitely saying it in your inbox because I would hate to go in your inbox talking to you about a host of posts and we ain't never talked before about nothing before that. Also what's, what helps a lot is going, is going in the stories and interacting in your stories meaning liking them, commenting on the story, that type of stuff, that helps too. That all goes into their inbox. That's something else to interact with. And all of y'all got a personality because we, I mean, a ton, I mean, for y'all to be around me, we got to be goofy. So y'all got to get you. So hey, go, Carissa, you know, huh? if y'all hanging around me, y'all got to be crazy. Yeah. Crazy. I know his sense of 
seen his post earlier he put up. I was laughing, but I was I ain't see I didn't go in there and look at it. But I was like, that just went over a lot of people's head. They did not catch that joke. <laughs> you saw that, didn't you? Yeah. Hey, you was there. Uh, yeah. You was on the ranch, and Mark was standing behind us, and me and Bubba was standing. There. I'm gonna tell y'all about. It. I got to because it, it just tickled the hell out of me. About 30 minutes later, I said, "Oh, we we're finally getting it." And they said, "Would you give right us uh, a hosted post of a cold brew?" Well, me and Bubba Hatcliffe is down in Florida on Mark's ranch, and we both had a Bud Light in our hand, which is a cold brew. And so I said, oh, sure. And I sent a picture of me and Bubba standing there with the cold brew. And they just got kind of like, I knew, I said, I've either made some people mad, and I don't even hardly drink. I said, I've either made them mad, or they just didn't get it. And Carissa come in and just straightened it out. She got it. They did. And said, oh, y'all didn't say nothing about skinny cold brew. You just said a cold brew. <laughs> I caught it as soon as he sent it, but <laughs> hands wasn't free to actually go in there and look at it. But I was like, yeah, I know that went right over their head because ain't nobody even say nothing. That went right over their head. But um, but all of y'all have that personality in you. Just go reenact some stuff. Y'all got y'all favorite movies out there. Go play with the movies. Go go reenact something you done seen on TikTok. Go you use the TikTok and put it on your page. Get some interaction going. I put one of them up because I love funny videos. So I always steal them and put them back and, and repost them. That video, my most, um, it, my, my biggest video I've gotten has almost 800,000 views on it. And it got me over 300 new um, followers on Instagram from it. Wow. And all I did was take it from TikTok and put it on my page. And then in the comments, I said who the person was. That thing kept going and going and going and then it stopped and then it decided to go again and, it, and then it just stopped again. But I got 300 new new people from that. And then from there, it's just, I pop regular, regular product videos in between, but it's also regular content that you can do. There's tons of content. We, we're creative like that. All of us are. You can be creative and, and come up with something that'll be beneficial. It don't have to just be all the time. It works, it works, it works. You got to put some content in there in between and then just be yourself. Like, I know y'all got personality. You just say effort and put it out. I mean, unless there's somebody you personally don't want to see your stuff, then tell them to pay you like a thousand dollars or something. Cause evidently that's the person stopping you from making money. So tell them to give you some money. Cause they stopping you from making money. Cause you don't want to put the content out or you don't want to post. Cause you, you got, you feel some type of way about how they feel. So that well, here, here, here's the best thing you can tell those people. And I told a family member last night. I said, well, I see you're confused again. And this family member said, what do you mean I'm confused? I said, you think I give a, or I care? <laughs> and I don't. I just don't. And they said, oh, it's like that. I said, just like that. If they don't want to see you succeed, that should be the fire in your gut to go make it happen pick up the pace three or four times what you were doing. Because if you ain't got haters, you ain't doing nothing. And I'm going to be honest with you, the first one that's going to hate on you, it's going to be your family. Because they don't want to see you walk off and leave them. And uh, I got to say this. I had, I said, I'm going to be the first millionaire in my family in direct sales. My sister said, well, God bless you. And I say, sister, yeah, God bless you. Uh, you know, and all the negative shit. It didn't take me 42 months for that one to happen. I said, see, I told y'all I should have went with me, but y'all ain't got what it takes to do it. So you don't even know how to, you don't even know, you can't, you can't, you live week to week. You don't even know how to have like that kind of money. Mm -hmm. And uh, you just keep on, you keep on doing it. And when your why gets so big and your fire and your motivation gets so big, your why starts to change. And when you take that why, uh, it changes and it, the why becomes your must. And when you when you get a must, I got to get this done. This must happen. Because when you get emotional about you, when, when I first started, I left the bank and Robin was mad as fuck. I had the pictures of my two little girls on my stern wheel. I had the pictures of my two little girls on the bathroom mirror, on the refrigerator, ever I was, I saw them two little pictures. If y'all go to my Facebook and look at that card, it's my why card. You see when they was really little and now they still daddy's girls and they grown. That's enough to keep you not motivated, but inspired. Because nobody, you know what your kids say, oh, it's my fault. 
Daddy failed again. He quit again. It's got too hard for him. Uh-uh. I know y'all ain't like it. I ain't look at y'all until something's wrong with y'all. Y'all don't just do with us. No, when you when something gets wrong with you and you get sick and tired of being sick and tired, the one thing that won't happen, you 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 got the perfect plan. You got the perfect line of products. You got the perfect compensation plan. I don't have no more than Carissa does. We don't have no more than y'all do. Y'all don't have no more. We all got the same plan. And what, what fires you up to keep going is what's in here, but it's what you consistently feed this right here. Like, I love to read these kind of books. Like, this Relentless, I'm reading it again. You know, I'm reading it again because I like the way Michael Jordan does stuff. I want to get down his plan so I can incorporate the same plan in my life. You know why? Hell, he's the best there ever was. He missed more than anybody, but he made more than anybody because he took the child. He didn't care what you taught. Exactly. You know, he told many people, oh, you're confused. Why are we confused? You think I care? And I don't. But there was other words in there that that's the clean version of Mr. Jordan. Mm -hmm. uh, he said, but I don't. Because you're not living my life. See, the one thing that I noticed about people will always make an excuse is based on what other people think because we're scared they're going to reject us and say no. Or There again, don't let you be the one that's confused. Let them be the one that's confused. <clears throat> and if you ain't making nothing happen, you always going to have people, they ain't going to bother you. But the day you step out to go make it happen, there's not one person that I've ever read about that makes something happen on a grander scale. And then have a whole hell of a lot of haters, a whole army of people hating on, her, all hating on her. <laughs> that really didn't uh, sway the the outcome of where they went. You know, how many people has the same potential that you let that one word, that one person, that one whatever, stop you from reaching your destiny? That's right. Come after that destiny, and shit can stop you, set you. Every excuse you got, you can run on in the bathroom, shut the door, and look in the mirror. What is your problem? Yeah. yeah. We're, we're our own worst enemies because I'm worried about what my neighbor thinks. I don't care what he thinks, nor his wife. I just don't. And you know why? Because he has to get up and go to work every morning. I'm going to tell you, every morning I used to walk out my bare skin robe. I sit on my big front porch. He said, oh, you do that network market. So I said, I do. Do it full time. I said, I hear you when you go up the road in your truck because it wakes me up. I really don't like it. But every morning I'll be sitting on the porch waving at him. He'd go up the road. Every morning. I did it just because I could do it. And every afternoon I knew when he come in, I'd be sitting there waving at him. Did you have a good day? And finally got to where he couldn't stand it. He said, you really? I said, no, I really do live a crazy life. I do what I want when I want. He said, the one thing that gets me, he said, you sitting there drinking. Y'all seen that cup in my truck when I do live? Mm -hmm. the big black cup. That's my favorite cup in the world. I drink everything out of that cup. <clears throat> he said, you sit there in a big black cup of coffee and you waving to me. And he said, in my mind, I picture you all day long. I said, what? He said, no, I picture you as everything you told me, you living it. And he said, I'm still showing up. I said, well, that's up to you. So he is now a customer. I don't know what his problem is, but uh, I think his wife don't want him to do it. Now, Miss Lackey didn't want me to do it. She, are you glad I did it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's screaming. Chris, she's over here grinning. That's right. Hey, there's one thing I'm going to say we need to get on that other Zoom. Is uh, you're the pioneers of something brand new, the four-in-one system. You're the pioneers that's going from where you are to you and leading your family to the promised land. Just make sure you, you get everybody in your household involved, your mom, your daddy, your kids, your spouse, your best friend, whoever. It's what we're going to do and let them see you take the necessary action every single day. And you know what's going to happen when they see you taking the action? They're going to start to believe in you. That's when the whole shift comes is when you little girls, they sit there and watch you. Daddy's doing it. He don't have to go to work there. He's going to spend it with us. When that shift gets in your house, hey, you, you become bulletproof and 10 foot tall. You don't care what nobody thinks because you're what? The change in lives, but the first life you actually change by helping others, you change your own life. And once you do that, you start to give hope. And once you start to give hope, you don't quit. And when you say, I just, no, one more call. I'm going to make one more. And next thing you need make three more. And that's what pushes you over the edge of everybody else that needs to go watch the damn news or go have a snack or go play a game. God Almighty, what does this country come to? And you're the one that's going to make it in your family. Ronnie, did you have something, buddy? 
Did you raise your hand? Do what now? Did you raise your hand or something? I thought yeah, I, saw. I just wanted to share something. Uh, as you know, that uh, you know, I had my before and after pictures. I've been doing this stuff. And uh, so we were listening to me and the rest of us talking. We were talking about our wives and everything. And I was like, you know, I'm going to be one with the why. Well, let me just tell you something. I get people respond to my before and after. So last night I started working on it. I called Rust. I said, hey, send me those two pictures you're talking about. I want to create you one because I'm looking at doing something. I put this on Facebook. Every, all day today, I've been talking about my why. People, I'm telling you, the why is the secret. Your why, you'll get more response from your why because of two reasons. One, you're passionate about it. Bottom line, you can't, I mean, you can't, you just reel about it, and they see that. And uh, and the second is, if you got a picture or whatever, that keeps you going regardless. That reminds you when you get a phone call and they say, no, I'm not interested. I'm not interested. That why keeps you going and keeping that why out there. But I wanted to share something. Uh, if you can or you got a phone and want to take a picture of this, this is something that over the last couple of months I've been just focusing on. And it's so true. And uh, I just want to read it as we can make it a little bit bigger here. I'll pull it up so you can, uh, uh, let's do here the speaker so I can see what we're going on here. Uh, then what it says basically, uh, let's see here, let me go to this here. And it basically will say, it says success requires separation. So many people struggles to embrace the fact. You can't keep the same circle of people around you. People are sent for a reason, for a, a reason, for a season, or for a lifetime. You must, no matter how un, 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 or, uh, uh, comfortable it is, to stop placing temporary people in permanent spots. And I'm telling you, that was something that I started realizing. These people that we're talking to, that we're going to, that we're on Zoom, we're doing things with, we're actually putting a lot of people that we're just, they've said no, they said, well, let me think about it. And we keep calling the same people. We keep calling the same people. And I'm to a point now where the whole thing is to be able to, okay, let's find new people. Let's call the new people. And you can't, you know, they keep saying no, they keep saying no. So what I started doing is when I talk to people, I'm going through my phone. And all I'm doing is calling everybody on my phone. I said, hey, I'm just going through a phone, checking on with the COVID, with all this junk going on. How are you doing? How are you doing with your health? And I gave them two choices. Hey, if I can help you and you're interested in me helping you, then I want you, you know, I want to put you in this link. And here's what I want you to do. If not, I'm going to send you a link of my Facebook and you just keep following me. By them following me, we'll see the actions, the pictures, and everything that I'm doing. But if they don't say I'm, I'm ready now, that's fine. Then I'm going to the next. I got over a thousand people on my phone. I don't need a thousand people to grow up the ranks I need. <laughs> a dozen people. But I'm finding myself, instead of calling on a thousand people, I'm calling on the same dozen over and over, getting no, 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 no. <laughs> it just keeps going in circles. And I'm like, okay. Now, I know, you know, Rusty can't hear this, thank God. So I'm not going to tell him he was right, because I hear it all day working out in the bar. <laughs> but the point is, is just talking to people. And sharing your why, what, what you're doing, what you're doing. Especially now with everything going on, I guarantee that this is what's crazy. Today alone, I called 20 phone, you know, phone numbers. Three of them are no longer alive. <laughs> I was like, whoa, you know, on my phone list. The other, and then four or five of them, not even their phone no more. Somebody else has it. But I did make two real friends. And one of them might be interested in the product. I just said, oh, well, who are you? You know, that kind of thing. But the point is, is that calling the people and just seeing where they're at and share where you're at in today's what's going on with the world. Because it's amazing what they were doing two years ago or last year or six months ago. It's probably changed. Look at what we've done and what we're doing. So going back to people you already know, but the biggest thing is don't keep them in that positive or that, you know, ten, that, that permanent spot. It might be temporary. Just move them on. And just go find the people. Find the people that's ready to do it. Because if you can only work for this year with 100 people, that's all you can work with. 
So you're trying to find 100 people to fit that spot. If they're not the ones you're working with, you just put somebody in that spot that's going to mess you up, slow you down, and keep you from getting your goal. So what you're saying, <laughs> so what you're saying, Ronnie, when you mess with the clown, you get the circus too. Amen, brother. All right, guys, man, <laughs> we got to get on this other Zoom. Uh, we're, we're being prompted to get uh, they're waiting on.